She didn't thick or not. <laughs> thick or not. Don't tell me you won her now. <laughs> I was sleeping on her. She getting there. She just turned nine months old. Wait until she hit ten months. Y'all gonna see a big ass difference. This girl is a picky eater, yo. Yeah. So she was underweight because I was walking her a lot. But she she chose, she pick and chose what what she wanted to eat and what food she wanted to eat and all that. I had to find the right food for her. When I first got her, she wouldn't eat alone. But I didn't know that. So it took me a few weeks to realize that, yo, she didn't want to eat alone. So I started feeding her with my other female. And that's when she started eating, when she was eating with... Uh, other dogs and that's when she would only eat but then like as the months went on she I started free feeding her and I I hang the food up in the cage that she'd be in and she'll free feed off of that but when it came to that she would just nibble some and then go play and then nibble and go play nibble and go play so she wasn't picking weight up from that also <clears throat> um I had her on a raw di raw meat diet in less than a week. It's been three days now. And look how big she is. I'm going to insert a before and after picture. Three days. And um, I do that satin ball recipe. With a little bit more extra calories in it that I put in myself. Um, more protein like I know it got raw meat in it but I put extra eggs in it and the shells in it and all that um, but she quickly like I said it's been less than a week and she already picked up the weight look at her fat ass <laughs> she can't easily jump on that bench no more <laughs> but again I'm going to show a before and after picture of her three days ago from now and y'all gonna see it only took three days for her to pick up this weight because them satin balls is the truth y'all see the difference she gonna be one of them wo wobbly bullies in a minute wait until she 10 months old she gonna be a complete she -mail. I was slacking with it. Y'all know I don't like putting weight on my um, puppies <clears throat> until they hit a certain age. She just turned nine months. I usually do it when they hit ten months. But we're going to put some weight on her this time. But that's really all I wanted to show y'all that I walk her a lot. I actually, uh, I haven't walked her in the three days that I've been feeding her. I haven't walked her far. Like, I usually do like two, three miles with her, and I haven't walked her like that in like three days. And since then, she packed the weight on, weight on quick, less than a week, y'all. And I've been feeding her Pro Plan. I'll get a. a half a cup of propane and 
like two of them satin balls like the size of uh, tennis balls <laughs> and I'll mix that up with some water with the kibble and I'll give her some chicken feet for the extra calcium and extra protein and that's what I've been giving her and she packed up the weight quick y'all Leave it. Leave it. All right, let them ants get to you. But it don't take no time when you're doing it right. It don't take no time to put on the weight. It's just I don't like putting on weight, the weight on my puppies, because uh, they, they bones need to develop. <laughs> That's my rule. Like They could be nice and chubby at two months, three months, but when that what people consider the lanky stage comes... That's when I don't pack on the weight with them. Of course, when they like a month, two months, three months, they're going to be chubby puppies. But when they start getting more active outside, I don't start packing on the weight until they're at least nine, ten months. Mainly ten months, but we're going to start early with her. A month early with her. And she just turned the nine months old on... I want to say the, it's, it was the 11th she turned 9 months. So, by the 11th of next month, of November, I'm going to show her again and y'all going to see the big difference. And I'm going to do it before and after a pic or a video so y'all can see the weight she put on now. If she put on this much weight in 3 days watch what I do with her in a month <laughs> talk to me nice because although she's gonna be a thick bull she gonna be a straight shemale y'all although she's gonna be thick she's still gonna be athletic I'm gonna still have her out here I'm gonna still have her walking with me all of that so she gonna be a real cut up stocky bull Cause I want to still have her breathing un under control. You know when you pack up, pack on all this weight with dogs, especially the bully breed, too soon they can't breathe. So I want, although I want the weight to be on her, I also want her to still be able to move and not get winded so quickly. It's getting cold out here, so she's still gonna be working. You know, they love the cool air. They'll be able to breathe better in the cool weather. I'll be able to walk them further, have them outside longer in this uh, cooler weather. So, we're going to bundle up and play. <laughs> but I, I'm shocked myself because this was literally three days, y'all. Three days of feeding her the raw meat uh, satin balls. And I have a video of, of how you make satin balls if you wanted to uh, put weight on, extra weight on your own dog. It doesn't have to be a bully. You can feed satin balls to any breed of dog. To a Yorkie, to a Pit Bull, to a German Shepherd. Any breed you can feed satin balls to if you want to add weight onto your dog. I know this lady who feed her Yorkies from a fork. I'm like, you you feed them with a fork? And she said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> so you got some people out here that treat they, they dogs like real baby babies. <laughs> I, I spoil my dogs, but not like that. Like, they got to feed themselves. If they don't eat, they don't eat. Because <laughs> I ain't going to force them to eat. You see, it's been a minute a while since I put my weight on her she she was a picky eater y'all she tear that raw meat up though but she was a real picky eater she did not eat the brand of dog food I fed my other dogs and well she would eat it but like I said she would just pick at it she'll take a few nibbles and then go play 
go back and take a few more nibbles and then go play and that wasn't adding no weight onto her either and I had her on a raw meat diet at one point um, it was maintaining her weight but I don't know why I stopped I think I don't want to um, have her too used to raw meat I take it I put them on and off raw so that was probably my reason but uh, she's back on it and y'all see Y'all see it. She is nine months. Um, um, and yeah, y'all gonna see what I'll do with her in the future. My plan is to breed her to my boy King, but that can always switch up. Y'all know I always switch my mind up in a split second. It'll be a whole different situation with me <laughs> it's a, it'll be a whole whole different situation with me so the plan right now is to breed her to my boy king but again i could end up getting another stud and switch her to a different stud it all depends but right now she's still a puppy so we're gonna let her be a puppy and mature a little bit more i really hope i can breed her on her second heat but there's no rush if she's still, if I still feel like she's too immature, like her body isn't fully developed, when she hit her second heat, then I'm going to skip it all the way to the third heat. Because I ain't rushing it. I want her to have a good, healthy litter, and I don't want her to have no pregnancy problems. And people be breeding these dogs too young sometimes, and they have whole pregnancy problems. But then again, I know somebody who bred a puppy, and the puppy didn't even have no pregnancy problems. And I don't agree with it, but you can't stop it, you know? <laughs> you can't stop it. So, but she didn't have no pregnancy problems at all. She carried that whole litter all the way through. But that's it, y'all. Uh, Again, satin balls. If you want to put weight on your dolls, go find that that video of my my satin ball video and my uh my what is it gorilla what is it gorilla milk. I did a gorilla milk video also for extra calories for your dog. If you don't want to use dine or if you just want to mix dine with the gorilla milk. You could actually add extra, extra calories onto your dog. It all depends on what you want to do. But go look that up if you're interested. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell to get notified when I post more videos. Much love.